Let's talk right. about what happened over the weekend on Saturday. Uh, we had uh, five, between 300 and 500,000 people uh, rally in Washington, and they say 800 cities around the world. What did you get out of it? What did I get out of it? That you got a bunch of people uh, basically rallying to take away the rights of people like me who did nothing wrong. Brian, I didn't do anything, all right? I'm a legal, patriotic, uh, American gun owner. I own firearms. I keep them safely in a safe. I did nothing wrong. What I still to this day don't get is what, when there, there's a number of viable, workable solutions out there to enhance law enforcement and school safety. They're sidelined in this endless effort by, by liberals and, and people they co-opt in their movement to take away firearms from people like me who didn't do a damn thing wrong. What did I do wrong? Why should I have to surrender a firearm to you for doing absolutely mm -hmm. nothing? This is all about straw men and scapegoats. The NRA did it. Law-abiding gun owners did it. We did nothing wrong. And I'm telling you, this is going to this is going to be a significant backlash to this because American gun owners are getting fed up by being blamed for the criminals in right, society. So Dan, we did nothing wrong. Dan, right there at the bottom of the screen, it says that you're a contributor for NRA TV. With your experience and um, working experience and being a contributor for them. What is your message to yeah. the people that are marching? And can you try to see their side of the story? And if you can, what is your message to them? Explain to them what they don't understand. I'm a parent too. I have two young daughters in a school. There is nothing. The, the, listen, if I you triage my needs in life, my kids are number one. They are it. They are everything to me. Of course this matters to me, too. But what you're doing is you're wasting a lot of legislative time and a lot of public energy on solutions that absolutely will not work. You will never wipe the stain of violence from the human heart. The only question out there is what are we going to do to defend our kids against the wolves among us? Trying to disarm the law-abiding will do nothing to make the criminals right. amongst us. Will not change their their uh, their actions one bit it'll just make put us in more danger make us sheep that's right and on Friday we had Kyle Kashuv he's one of the survivors uh, he did not take part in the activities over the weekend because he's on the other side he supports the Second Amendment he said that what happened at, at Stoneman uh, High School was a breakdown in law enforcement and uh, you know we have talked with you about that in the past Dan thank you very much have a great week thanks for stopping by thank so you, Dan. early thanks guys thanks Ainsley. all right